Activision truly just is the worst company in gaming by far. At this point, I think they're just trying to get people to hate them more than people already do. And I wasn't even having, like, expecting to make this video. It was a completely different video of what I normally do, like, ever. But I just have to get my thoughts out. So I'm sure you've heard by now that Activision has now sent cease and desist letters to three clients of Call of Duty. BO3 client, which was the boy client, SM2, which was going to be a fan-made game, and now Xlabs has been shut down. If you guys didn't know, Xlabs was a client that you could play free-to-play older Call of Duties on, kind of like Plutonium, but it was different games. For instance, you had Advanced Warfare on there, and it gave you everything for free. Activision, no, 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 they don't like that at all, because they're losing 0.0000000.1%. I added, I added in another decimal. Because that's how little money they're losing out. You are a $70 billion company and you're shutting down fan-made clients? I'm s hello? Do we not, like, realize how ridiculous this sounds? All of these older Call of Duty games, you are at a fucking security risk to even go play them. From malware being installed on your PCs to even them getting into your personal information. Shit! I've had my PC shut off just by playing Black Ops 3. I've had my Black Ops 3 disconnected so many times because of hackers. And all of these clients, they fixed that. It was a safe alternative. I just, dude, I, they, they, Activision hates their player base more than they like it. But nothing is going to change because people don't fucking realize this. Stop defending a multi-billion dollar company. They do not care about you. I don't think anything will change. Shit, they covered up a sexual harassment for how many years? And they're still being sued by the state of California, but no one seems to care about that. You're gonna keep buying their absolutely horrendous cosmetics. Like, yes, I'll be truthful. I have bought some stuff, but it's only the collabs that I have bought. Should I have bought them? Probably not. But did I? Yes. But I haven't spent any money on COD since Season 3 of Cold War. Actually, whenever Ghostface came out, that was the last thing I bought on ever on COD. But still, it's just nothing is going to change because all Activision cares about is money. If we keep giving them money, they're just going to continue to do whatever the fuck they want. Take Rockstar Games, for example. Take 5M, which is a huge like community project it allows you to play modded servers on the game but you need to own the game that's what bo3 the boy client that's what that was shit even take fortnite their developers are letting them create the og map for like just for nostalgia and they're letting them do that with like they're even helping them do it they've promoted them but activision sees rust being remastered for the 80th fucking time on a different, like, thing. I've seen rust on Roblox at this point. But no, as soon as it's in Fortnite, no, 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 we gotta shut that down. Nope, can't happen. What? I get that in their TOS, it says that you cannot use modded client. Fuck that. Fuck you. They're your old assets that you do not care about anymore. You have not used these assets in forever. You don't even care about these older games. Look how long it took for Gorod Krovi on BO3 to be fixed. Just for crashing issues. Shit, stability on BO4 in Cold War still has not been fixed. There are still a ton of issues on consoles. And you don't even get me started on like the PC ports of those games. Battle.net, suck a dick. And I just, I don't get why we still buy their games and like purchase their awful skins. I just, I don't get get it at all and the thing that has me absolutely kerfuffled at the moment cod like the biggest thing on cod for the longest time was prop hunt and modded servers on cod 4 and cod has been so heavily built upon by these custom modders look at world at war modding for example look how that exploded zombies look how many channels grew from just that side of the community let alone people doing funny moments all those other types of videos i just I don't understand what goes through their head when they see people fixing their fucking messes for free for free that's the kicker all of these are for free they're fan-made projects for people taking time out of their day to help other people play these older games because at the end of the day they still 
90% of the time, these people are going to still have to buy the games to even play them. Considering you guys literally will not make any changes on your older games, look at BL3. Okay, I'm gonna use another BL3 example. On PC, the menu is the laggiest thing I have ever seen in my life. And it's been that way for years and they still have not fixed it i'm pretty sure this was an issue during its release and they never fixed it so what did the boy client fixed it fixed fps issues it fixed frame drops which is fps issues but it fixed overall stability of the game and it allowed people to go back and have that nostalgia of actually playing those games. Shit, I have the most memories on BO3 and multiplayer playing that, Search and Destroy, Ninja Diffusing, all of that. Most of my memories come from that BO3. So when I got to play the boy client, that was the most fun I had had on COD in years. Because I didn't have to worry about some loser hacking into my PC that just lives in his mom's basement. I could actually play those games and have so much fun on them. Like X-Labs, Advanced Warfare with that client, that made the game so much more fun. It was alive. There were so many servers. Same with the boy client. There was so many servers, and like, dude, I just, I don't understand. Activision is just single-handedly destroying their own games. Like, I know it's not possible. We don't have the money, the lawyers. We're not, you know, these multi-billion company industries. All it takes is one person getting their information stolen or taken, whatever you want to call it. Just takes one person to have that happen to them, and Activision is getting fucking sued to hell. I don't care how many lawyers you have that cannot happen and at this rate it's going to happen because the older games are such a security risk and it's just so sad because all these people that grew up playing these older games that are now adults and have families and all that they just want to relax they want to go have fun on the older games that they know and love and they can't and i just <sighs> I'm just at a loss for words, man. It's just unreal. I've never seen a company hate their player base more than Activision. I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but I just want to hammer home this fact. Fuck you, Activision. You don't even fucking care about these games anymore until someone else fucking repairs them for you. And then you shut that down and you won't even repair them yourselves. You're still charging full price for 90% of these games that came out over 10 years ago. Oh, but they're on sale. Shut up. I'm not paying $20 for a 10-year-old game that I can't even f get full fucking access to because it's overrun to all hell. I mean, even look at BO2 on console. Different scenario, same result. They don't do anything about it. Oh, they shut down COD TV. So? That was like a year and a half after? A couple years after? They do not care. They would rather ruin the legacy of their own games to push you to buy these absolute dog shit games that they have been putting out recently. MW2 was fucking awful. MW2019 was kind of mid. It was enjoyable for a little bit and then just died. Vanguard was... We don't talk about Vanguard. Cold War is the only outlier in this scenario. But they would rather push those games that are honestly not that well made and are literally just made to be cash grabs it's unreal and i just i just don't get it man let me know what you guys think in the comments peace